What's going on? Jason Moss here. In today's video, I have another Go High Level uh, feature review for you. Uh, they just came out with their brand new state-of-the-art email drag and drop builder. Uh, there really wasn't one in here to begin with. So this is awesome. Um, I think it's better than um, even like uh, MailChimp or Get Responses or Active Campaigns. It is very, very slick and easy. I will show that to you here in just a second. But before we get started, um, in the description below, there is a link to my new tools cheat sheet. All right. So if you are like an agency, um, an SEO agency, Facebook ad agency, something along those lines, maybe you're a freelancer as well. Um, I have a brand new cheat sheet where I go through all the tools that I use for my SEO agency, Facebook ads, uh, my YouTube channel, everything that I use on that, my lead generation websites as well. And now I can't think of the other thing. Um, but it's all in the cheat sheet. So uh, see the description below, okay, for that. But let's hop in into these this new high-level email builder. As you can see, I am signed in. I'm on my YouTube testing location. And you will also notice we are on the beta side of things, okay? Now, the email builder has been in beta for high level for several weeks. Um, I'm told that it is going to be taken out of beta and brought into the main area very, very soon. All right. So even though it's in beta, um, by the time you're watching this, it might be out of beta. All right. But anyways, it is going to be live someday. But check this out. So we're in the marketing section. Uh, we're under the emails. You can see it's under new. All right, and we have this brand new section, okay? Um, high levelers have never seen this before, all right? So let's go over here and just create an email and see how things look and feel right off the bat, okay? You can see they give us some templates here, um, the update, simple, promotion. You can even do like a preview. Let's... All right, and you can see um, it looks beautiful. This is how an email would uh, come to you. These are actually GIFs, that's why they're moving. Um, so that is beautiful, but let's get in and actually play around with it. I wanna show you how slick this really is. So you do have the blank option as well where you can start off blank, but just so we have something to play with, let's click on this one here. And you can see it is gorgeous, all right? We can uh, look at this, all right? All the different options, we have edit options, settings, send or schedule, we can name it uh, right here, review and send, send test email, which is huge. I hate emailers that don't include a test email function. Uh, we even have some actions uh, where we can see show version history, so if changes are made, you can always see that, that is awesome. Kind of like building websites, um, seeing that version history, you can roll back um, You know when you're making changes, all right? But let's take a look here, and I clicked on this, all right, and everything is movable, clickable, draggable, whatever. So this obviously is like the, the title, all right, and we can move this around if we wanted to. Okay, we'll leave it there for now. Um, we have pictures, so this is obviously some like columns in here, all right. This picture is selected right now. You can see we can replace it. It's got the image URL, um, or you can upload it, uh, which is the replace option. Um, you even have alt text options, links, you know, so it's clickable. You can make the, the width, the height. You have all of those options, alignment. Um, so that is all awesome, all right? So let's say we wanted some text here. Let's grab the text element from over here, and we can just drag and drop it. All right, we can click in here. Oh, it was already selected. And then we have a full editor. Oh, and I can't spell today. All right, so you can do all that, um, you know, just like you would in like a Word document or Google Sheets, um, Google Docs, I should say. Um, so that, that all works perfectly fine. Um, you know, drop in links if you wanted to. You can do that. Uh, let's go back here. And we have all these different options. We can drag in buttons if we wanted to. 
All right, we have dividers, we have social icons, uh, which is pretty cool, and then you can link to all of those. We can edit, yeah, we can drop the URLs, of course we can, so that makes it very, very simple. Um, let's try some of these layouts. So let's drop a layout right in here. So it's basically like a new section. Uh, let's put an image right here. And then in this middle one, let's put more social stuff in there for some reason, just to play around. And then we'll throw a button over here. All right. So you can see everything is just beautiful and it, it, it just, it works. Um, you have the whole footer section here, of course, which you have to have when you're sending out emails um, to, you know, you're unsubscribed from your list, all of that's in there. This is just awesome. I don't know if you've ever played around with any uh, drag and drop emailers before, but this is very, very simple to use. Um, it's just another reason that I like, well, I should say I love high level um, and everything that it can do. Um, because I'm currently in the process, I have a Git response account and I have, I think it's over 10,000 leads on there, email leads on my Git response account. So I'm paying, I know it's over $75 a month just for that Git response account. So I'm going to be moving everything over now that high level has this beautiful drag and drop emailer. Um, I'm going to move everything over and cancel my Git response. So that'll save me 75 bucks a month right there. All right, so on the settings here, we do have these normal options like the from name, from address, subject line, preview text, which is pretty cool. A lot of emailers or autoresponders don't have the preview text. MailChimp does, I know that, but I don't think GetResponse does because I've never, I don't think I've ever seen it or done it before. But this is like the preview text when people are looking on their phone or even on desktop, that first line after the subject that you can read, you can actually do a completely different preview text than what your main body of the email is. So you can use that to your advantage of trying to get people to open the email. So that's pretty cool that you can do that. And then sender schedule, you have a bunch of different options here. Um, so obviously, just like an autoresponder, you gotta send it to a certain list. Well, who is your list? Well, you can do, you can search by contacts, you can do just a single person, um, you can do a couple people. In this account, I only have two leads in here because this is just my test account. But let's say you had a list of 10,000 people and you had a tag on them that was like, uh, you know, Jason's list or something, all right? So you can just go in here and you can select a tag. So I can select a tag, and of course I don't have those two contacts tagged, but you can select a tag and it'll select all of your people, all right? So it gives you lots of different options, makes it very, very simple of who you know you're going to be sending to. All right, you can see it populate over there, populates up here. All right, you can do send now, you can schedule for later. I mean, you have all of those normal options. And then once you're done, you can do a send a test email. All right, from address to address, email subject, you can do all of that. Actions, uh, we already showed you the actions. but everything is awesome um you know this is beautiful like i said um if you're interested in getting a high level account um i do have links in the description below it's also in that cheat sheet as well because this is one of the products that i use all the time so i just wanted to show you this to you real quick if you got questions uh comments drop them below if this video was helpful please smash that like button hit subscribe. It really helps the channel. This channel is not monetized at all whatsoever. I don't really like ads. Um, but if you hit like or you share this or you leave a comment, something like that, subscribe. It does really help and get this uh, out to more people. So um, yeah, if you have questions, leave them below and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.